screaming. It's a mess out there. This close to the Citadel, they've turned the streets over to Striders.
Crashing through the plaza, knocking over walls, and I think he's looking for Alex. He seems to have it set in his head that she's in the Citadel. I figured Alex wouldn't want him getting any deeper in trouble, but hell, you try stopping him. Hey, dog! Not there! You can't get through that way! Well, I'll be damned. I think he wants you to go through, Gordon. You'd better hurry. And if you see Dr. Breen, tell him I said...
circumstances I like to think Disappointment in Eli Vance and Isaac Kleiner is far greater than my sorrow over your unfortunate choice of a career path. In a way, I suppose you could not have done otherwise. planted when you were young and gullible, but while they certainly share a great part of the responsibility, at least the problem, it is you alone who have chosen to act with such willful disregard for humanity's future.
destroyed so much. What is it exactly that you have created? Take him from here. Don't struggle, it's no use. Until you're where he wants you, there's nothing you can do. 
I'm sorry, Gordon. by vast meteorological intelligences. Worlds stretched thin across the membranes where the dimensions intersect. Impossible to describe with our limited vocabulary. What I've seen is also beyond words, Breen. Genocide, indescribable evil. Good God. Well, if it isn't Gordon Freeman at last. What's this? I'll put it over there. You have my gratitude, Doctor. First you lead me straight to the doorstep of my oldest friend, and then you deliver yourself. If I'd known you were going to come straight up to my office, I wouldn't have bothered hunting you in the first place. Having both of you in my keeping ensures I can dictate the terms of any bargain I care to make with a combine. <laughs> Dr. Breen. Huh. Wallace. Yes, Judith, what is it? The bargain we should be making is for Eli's life so he can continue his research. Thanks to you, we have everything we need in that regard. You're more than qualified to finish his research yourself. What neither you nor I can do is convince that rabble in the streets to give up their senseless struggle. Yet Eli refuses to speak the words that would save them all. Save them? For what? Eli, if you won't do the right thing for the good of all people, maybe you'll do it for one of them. Alex, honey... Dad. Gordon? No. God damn you, Bring you let her go. That's all up to you, my old friend. Will you let your stubborn short-sightedness doom the entire species, or will you give your child the chance her mother never had? <laughs> How dare you even mention her? Alex, my dear, you have your mother's eyes, but your father's stubborn nature. You haven't seen a bit of it yet. Really? Well, let's see how well it serves you on the far side of a combined portal. Go ahead, Bree. <laughs> if that's the worst you can do, send us both through your portal. <sighs> oh, it's hardly the worst. But you might find that hard to believe once you get there. It isn't necessary. I agree. It's a total waste. Fortunately, the Resistance has shown it is willing to accept a new leader. And this one has proven to be a fine pawn for those who control him. No! Don't listen to him, Gordon. How about it, Dr. Freeman? Did you realize your contract was open to the highest bidder? Gordon would never make any kind of deal with you. I understand if you don't wish to discuss this in front of your friends. I'll send them on their way, and then we can talk openly. Don't struggle, honey. Dad. I'm so sorry. Alex, sweetheart. Judith, what do you think you're doing? We're doing what I could never do alone. We're stopping you. Yes. Guards, get in here. They know you betrayed them. They'll turn on you. Judith, Dr. Mossman, please. I'm sorry, Wallace. You're all out of time. Don't. Hurry! Dad, hang on! You fool! Watch out, he's gonna- No! Dad! Oh, no, no, no. Don't worry about me, honey. There's no time, Alex. He's on his way to the portal. You'll need this. Dr. Mossman, Judith, Look after my father. Don't you worry. Dad, I'm not saying goodbye. Never. Come on, Gordon. Let's go. That's my girl. Gordon, we haven't known each other very long, but... I know you didn't have to do this. I had to rescue my father, but you... Thanks for coming after me. It's me you should be concerned. Hey, listen. I can still deliver That's early, him. but not without your help. The portal destination is untenable. Surely you can set the relay elsewhere. There's no way I can survive in that environment. 
A host? Body you must be joking. I can't possibly. Yeah, he is. Oh, all right. Damn it. That's what it takes. Just hurry. He's right behind me. Oh, shit. going. Oh my god. This is the Citadel's dark fusion reactor. It powers their tunneling entanglement device. We'll never have a chance like this again. We've got to stop Dr. Breen. I can't shut it down. Looks like he's turned over control to the other side. You'll have to go into the core and do what you can. Get in the elevator and I'll let you in. Don't forget to charge up your suit. Do your worst, Gordon. But be careful. As I teleport, this chamber will be bathed in deadly particles that have yet to be named by human science. Perhaps when I have the leisure to do the work myself, I'll name one of them after you. That way you won't be completely forgotten. When the singularity collapses, I will be far away from here, in another universe as a matter of fact. You, on the other hand, will be destroyed in every way it is possible to be destroyed, and even in some which are essentially impossible. Dr. Freeman. Not for much longer, I think. If only you had harnessed your boundless energy for a useful purpose. Don't know what you'll unleash. You could bring 
down this whole citadel. Think, man. Think of the people below. No! <laughs> yeah. You did it. did it! Come on, Gordon. We've got to get out of here. Maybe we still have... Time, Dr. Freeman? Is it really that time again? It seems as if you only just arrived. You've done a great deal in a small time span. You've done so well, in fact, that I've received some interesting offers for your services. Ordinarily, I wouldn't contemplate them, but these are extraordinary times. Hmm? <clears throat> Rather than offer you the illusion of free choice, I will take the liberty of choosing for you. If and when your time comes round again. I do apologize for what must seem to you an arbitrary imposition, Dr. Freeman. I trust it will all make sense to you in the course of... Well, I'm really not at liberty to say. In the meantime, this is where I get off. Lamar? Lamar! Blast that little... Where did she get to? 